Hi everyone, my name is Emma and today I'm going to be talking to you about EMDR therapy. So you might have found um, out about EMDR because you're having it or maybe you're curious because of Prince Harry or I don't know, you're studying it or something and you just wanted to know how it feels to actually experience it because I know that the psychologist that I was seeing, they did practice it but she had to just use a phobia and not something traumatic so anyways so i'm just gonna read first of all what emdr therapy is just so that you understand if you don't know already and then i'll move on to like my experience so the mind can often heal itself naturally in the same way the body does much of this natural coping mechanism occurs during sleep, particularly during rapid eye movement sleep. Um, EMDR was developed in 1987, so it's really, really new and they don't really know too much about it. Utilizing this natural process in order to successfully treat PTSD and many, many other mental health illnesses. So, um, Basically what happens when you have PTSD is that, um, say you get stressed um, and you're, you're basically your mind reacts to the stress in the exact same way it did during experiencing the traumatic event and EMDR therapy helps move the trauma to the story part of your brain so that your brain recognizes that it's been and gone and you're able to cope with stressful situations better. Um, that is how I was explained it anyways. Um, and so what they do for EMDR therapy is really weird. I remember when my therapist like first explained it to me, I thought, this isn't gonna help. This is not going to help. Um, and I'll tell you why I thought that later on. But first of all, let's just tell you what we do. So with my psychologist, we went for like following a pen. So she would hold a pen in front of me and I would follow it like this. Um, but apparently you can go like, you can go like this and you can do it by sound as well. So there are multiple ways that you can do it to get the same effect. Um, and I believe it came about because um, a woman was really stressed about something and she was just out on a walk and you know when the sun hits through the branches of the trees and it can flicker in your eyes um, and that was happening to her and she just realised that she didn't feel so stressed and um, not sure if that's the true story or not but that was what I was told and I just remember finding it like really interesting so i'm just throwing that fact out there for you so for emdr what you have to do is um think about the traumatic event whilst like doing the thing whichever one you're doing and it's absolutely horrible because if you have ptsd then you know or you have an agoraphobia or anything like that a phobia or whatever um, when you know the feeling and you have to think about it, it's the worst thing in the world. Um, but you have to just think about it whilst following the pen. And you could be doing it for a really long time. Sometimes you can be doing it for no time at all. Um, but what happens is the feelings start to get less and less. And then you learn how to kind of soothe yourself. So I would focus on something that happened to me. And as it started to not feel so bad, I would then start focusing on things that brought me comfort. So that would be nearly always my dog. So I'd be thinking about as a child, the like horrible things and what would have made me better in that time and like what I needed then. And um, it would be like my dog because right now he is like my beta blocker and um, he fills me with the love that I never had as a child and I will just hug him and stroke him and feel like 
worst things in the world can be happening but i have the one thing that matters and that helps just that is my flip-flop by the way um just helps it you know not feel so horrible and sometimes i'd have to do a couple of appointments especially if it's for like one of the really bad triggers and also sometimes you might write a list because this is what we did of all the the biggest things that i constantly would have flashbacks about and um you might have thought that you would have to do EMDR for each one, but as you process one, naturally other ones just disappear as well. Like my psychologist explained it to me in the most amazing way. Um, I can't even like begin to explain it the same way that she did. But um, yeah, it's, that's what happened for me. So a lot of the things I just wasn't bothered about anymore after the big things had gone. Um, but before I had EMDR therapy or any of that trauma therapy, I uh, was just not a human. I was just like a shell, a traumatized shell. <laughs> so I couldn't even go outside without panicking. I had full on agoraphobia of going outside. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't go shopping. I couldn't see my friends. I was even panicking at home. I had a full on panic disorder I was having panic attacks I've never heard anyone on YouTube talk about where I hyperventilated so bad that it looked like I was having a seizure and like all my muscles like started bending like this like you know when you have a seizure basically um, and I've never heard anyone ever talk about them but when I talked to my doctor about it he said that these are what you can have when you have PTSD and stuff so um yeah that's how bad i was and like towards the end of my therapy i started being able to like go into the odd place and not panic um and at first i thought it was a fluke i just thought this is a fluke i thought as soon as i stop having therapy everything's gonna come back because i've not got that continued support there but Along with the ther um, the EMDR, we were doing all sorts of other stuff, which I will talk about in other videos, um, because it wasn't just EMDR that you had to do to like get the results that I have now, and I imagine it will be the same for everyone else. You know, there's loads of other things that you have to do, but this is just to talk about it, um, kind of like educate and just kind of, I don't know remove a stigma so now i can go outside and not panic and um like i can go around big groups of people and i get anxious real bad and sometimes i do avoid but and not because i think i'm gonna panic just because i just feel a bit low but um i can't really remember the last time I've had a panic attack in the shops, like I'm definitely still having them but I've gone from having like continuous panic of maybe like 10, 5 to 10 panic attacks a day to um, maybe one or two a month unless I'm like stressed then I have a lot of like, yeah, not so much panic but like breakdown kind of things so it has really changed my life i know it, I, like i'm not cured and stuff but um there's been a massive difference and uh if you're a little bit like me and you're unsure about whether or not it can actually change your life i'm just here to tell you that it can and even if you go in believing that it can't it still worked because it can <laughs> so maybe yeah go with an open mind that's all i have to say about that um i really hope that i've been able to answer some questions or shed some light on the situation and um you join me for my future videos and um also just a little kind of like heart to heart uh if you are going through any of those things that i've experienced just know that you are not alone and there is help out there and you could be like me 
in a year's time you could be in a situation where you felt like you could never have been in because I genuinely thought at one point I wouldn't even be here at all um, and it's a work in progress don't expect your life to change overnight but just know that the love and support is there and I really 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 hope you stick around to see it. If you have any questions just leave them below.